you're on quiet mode. Oh, I'll have to look into that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 60, 60 like degrees. Oh, there's only there's not one one setting. <laughs> 60 <laughs> degrees in Phoenix, downtown Phoenix behind me. Here's Flagstaff. We've had snow falling and it is going to be a bit snowy up there today. We could walk away with four to six inches up in the Flagstaff area and areas um, above 6,500 feet. Here's the snow. We got Gibby up there. We're going to be checking in with him all morning. Uh, it's you know, we can see snow this late. It's not the craziest thing, but definitely um, approaching April April and still seeing some snow. We got rain. If you're heading up the I-17, that snow is going to get you right around Kachina Village. Also some snow at the higher elevations of uh, Yavapai County. We'll push this to the east as we get going into today. Uh, the wind is going to be an issue once again. Uh, really gusty conditions. We have wind advisories for uh, Apache or Navajo and Apache counties. And then we have a high wind warning. If you're in the Greer area, Springerville, St. John's, uh, Sholo, Pine Top Lakeside, we could be seeing uh, 60 plus mile per hour winds today. And that's going to go until 5 o'clock. So another very, very windy day out there. That's the type of wind that kind of knocks your vehicle around, especially if you have a higher profile vehicle, maybe one of the Sprinter vans or a semi. Take it easy. Storm systems move, moving through. We don't have a lot of moisture. This is all the moisture over by uh, Texas, so a relatively moisture starved system. Let's roll through the wind. Very windy this morning. Usually the wind is in the afternoon, but our front's moving through this morning, 10 a.m. up on uh, the Navajo Nation. Sustained winds at about 30, so that's a constant 30 mile per hour wind, and it will gust up to 55, 60 miles per hour. A little bit of a relief in western Arizona. Pretty darn breezy in southeastern Arizona, and we're going to have some breezes rolling around the Phoenix metro as well. Here's 2 o'clock today. Sustained 15 mile per hour winds in Phoenix. If you're heading toward uh, New Mexico, it's going to be incredibly windy there as well. 5 o'clock, still pushing those winds, and then finally, We'll relax everything wind wise as we get going into Friday. Some breezes still, but they'll seem pleasant compared to what you're going to have to go through today. Right now we're in the 40s in Payson, 30s in Flagstaff, 52 in Bullhead City in and around the valley, 60s and 50s out there. Our highs aren't going to budge much from here. That's why we have a first alert day because it was 82 yesterday and it's going to be in the mid 60s for today. Pretty nice out of the trails. It'll be breezy. I'm not expecting a lot of rain, but we do have a chance to see some. I think most of it's going to stay north. A lot of us are going to stay very dry for today. 44 for the high in Prescott, 51 in Kingman, 37 in Flagstaff. You guys were in the 50s yesterday, <laughs> so big changes there. Uh, we will warm things up quickly. 44 today in Prescott, up to 57 on Friday, and then 66 on Saturday. Camp Verde, 50s today, 60s for Friday, and then 73 on Saturday. Uh, spring is a very turbulent time as far as their temperatures go, and this seven day really shows that 66 today for that first alert day, cooler weather, 72 on Friday. We're dry out there. We add in clouds Saturday with a high of 81, 83 with sun on Sunday. The wind fires up again Monday with a high of 80, and then our temperatures crash to the 60s. So the weather roller coaster does continue as we get going into next week.